it's 24 degrees outside hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is victoria and this is time and tenderness So I had a plan, I had a plan for today. I was gonna film a video. This was gonna be my second video back with you guys. Um, I was gonna do a kind of stay at home, day in the life, power hour, some sort of video, just to get back in the groove of things. And Gabriel went down for a nap. But just as I got my camera out, he decided to start to wake up. So I have a lot of laundry. I have laundry to fold. I have diapers to stuff. I have just the general cleaning up of the main living space. And I was hoping I could take you guys along with me. And this could be like a cleaning video, a day in the life video, a chatting video, who knows? It's been a while since I've been with you guys. So let's just go ahead and get the day started. all my worries I prepare for something new whatever it was that held me back I'm sure it wasn't true holding on too long and unresolved questions holds you down what could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown I'm moving on changes around me on and on I feel I must whatever happened to me happened for my highest good I read that in so many books now it's almost understood I'm moving on Nap of the day, which you guys saw. 
He's taking a nap. I always miss him when he takes a nap. Like if he takes a really long nap and I finish all of my chores. Yes, I love. I'm like waiting by his door or I'll, I'll open the door and I'll just stand in the nursery and stare at him. I probably sound like a total crazy person. But I'll just stand in the nursery and like stare at him and I'm like waiting for him to wake up. I don't wake him up, but I miss him when he's sleeping. Figured I'd talk to you guys while I fold some diapers. So I had shared with you guys, oh, Layla has to go out with me in one second. So while, um, when I was pregnant and making videos for you guys while I was pregnant, um, I shared with you guys that we planned on cloth diapering. So we have been exclusively cloth diapering for about a month now, a month and a half. We, I started when we first, when he was first born at the hospital, we did use disposable diapers just cause he was so tiny. He didn't fit the diapers yet. Um, sorry if I say I'm a lot, so I'll be folding diapers and talking at the same time. Uh, so we have yet to we never bought any disposable diapers any disposable diapers we had they were having gifts to us um to just get us through the first few weeks the first month or so so we started exclusively cloth diapering when he was about a month old that was when he actually started to fit the diapers and i we are absolutely loving it so there's two styles of diapers 90% of my collection is our pocket diapers, which there is a pocket here, and then the inserts go right inside. And this is what is absorbent. This is what absorbs the liquid. And then everything else is caught in here. And the whole process, the whole uh, experience of cloth diapering has been so easy. We have been saved. We were getting so many blowouts with the disposable diapers when he was in the disposables uh, that doing so much laundry with that. But now we we don't get any any blowouts. Occasionally we'll get a blowout if I'm not right on track with changing him regularly. So I did notice that these microfiber inserts they have like a lifespan when he's wearing them of how much liquid they'll hold of about three hours. So if I go any longer then I try to change him as often as I feed him. So with every feed he gets a fresh diaper. Um, or if he has a poopy diaper that gets changed immediately. So I will change as often as I feed him and every once in a while I'll he'll be really hungry. So instead of changing him first and then feeding him I'll feed him and then change him. And sometimes while he is eating, he will like to go to the bathroom while he's eating. And it's at that point, if it was already a really wet diaper, and then he goes number two, uh, we'll have a little bit of a blowout, or if I didn't exactly fit the diaper correctly. So like last night, we started playing with different ways to make the diaper last longer at night. So. The beauty about cloth diapers is you have a little bit more control over the absorbency um, with them. So how long that they last. So depending on the combination of fabrics that you use as an insert can get you different lengths of time that will keep moisture off the baby's bottom and how much moisture the diaper will hold. So I was doing some experimenting and I guess I didn't get the diaper on correctly last night and he kind of shimmied out of it in his sleep. I didn't tighten it enough and uh, at 2 in the morning my husband, I woke up and my husband was changing him because so Gabriel is exclusively breastfed. Um, we do give him a bottle at night though so when the sun goes down the bottles come out. The reason I do that is because some women experience a release of oxytocin when they're breastfeeding and that can make them sleepy. So at night I experience that and it's dangerous to be holding your baby and falling asleep because then you could drop your arms and then drop your baby or you know get into an unsafe position and accidentally hurt your baby. So we decided early on because I was experiencing that that we would do bottles at night and breast all throughout the day. So last night I got up to pump because I'll still wake up to pump that because for some reason that won't make me sleepy and I can get that done in about 10-20 minutes uh, 
and uh, Jack will get up and bottle feed Gabriel. Well, I went back to bed and I, I'm hearing Jack up feeding the baby and then I hear the sounds of diaper changing and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He shouldn't be experiencing needing a new diaper unless he went number two in the middle of the night. So I must have not had snapped the diaper tight enough because he shimmied out of it and wet himself. So that was my bad. So some of the ways you can enhance the absorbency of your diapers is by using different types of fabric. So one of the cheap hacks that I really learned that I recently learned that I am this is our favorite hack so far are using the flower sack towels from Walmart. I just got a pack of five dirt cheap. I think it was like less than five dollars, maybe less than ten dollars. Really, really cheap for a pack of five of these towels. And what I do is I fold them you just watched me fold them, but I fold it into a square and then I'll take a microfiber insert and I will wrap the cotton around the insert. And what happens is, is that the microfiber can pull liquid very quickly and then a co cotton fabric holds more liquid. So the absorbency rate, if I'm explaining this correctly, Microfiber will absorb things very quickly, but it doesn't hold a lot. Whereas cotton absorbs things slowly, but it holds a lot. So using the two together, you can kind of, you know, work it as a team to hold a lot of liquid to keep everything dry off your baby's bottom to get you through the night so that you're not waking a sleeping, sleeping baby to change their diaper. As far as uh, washing them goes, Layla now wants inside. I don't blame her, it's freezing out. Oh my goodness, did someone have a good nap? Did someone have a good nap? Yes. All right, let's get you up. The mirror is dirty, but did you have a good nap? You got a boogie in your nose. Did you have a good nap, my love? Yeah. Mr. Man, you did not take a very long nap. Yeah, he's talking to you. He only slept for about an hour. And now he's just ready to watch me. Oh no. Okay, I'm coming. It's funny. I think we all go through when we become parents things that we said we want, that we were gonna do, or that we weren't gonna do as parents. And one of those things that I said I did not want was a baby swing. But Mr. Man likes movement, so I prefer to carry him around, and my husband carries him around, but sometimes when I'm just doing housework, it, or if the task is not conducive to me being able to carry him, into the swing he goes, so. I happened to get that swing. It's a Mamaru by Four Moms. I got it off Facebook Marketplace. It runs like two fifty to three hundred dollars, I think. Got it for a hundred, so that was great. Are you talking to me, sir? Are you ready to have a party this afternoon? Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here for today. Uh, after Gabriel woke up from his nap, he got really hungry and time has just gotten away from us and my husband is going to be home soon from work and I'm going to want to have spend time with him. Although I didn't finish everything I wanted to complete today, I got a good majority of it done and that's what counts now with this little guy. As long as I get some things done, something is better than nothing. I hope you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Bye.